So about a month ago, it was revealed in the Dragon Ball Super manga that Vegeta, only in the manga of course, could achieve the red-haired Super Saiyan God transformation. But longtime Dragon Ball fans will remember that this is not the first time Vegeta had red hair. What is the mystery about Vegeta in those early episodes of Dragon Ball Z when he looked very different? So today, my friends, I bring you a tale of one of the earliest misunderstandings between Toei and Toriyama in Dragon Ball Z. Let's get to it. So before I get into the actual story behind this, I just want to say that if you grew up on Dragon Ball Z Kai, if Kai is the only version you've seen, this was actually fixed in Kai. So if all you've seen is Kai, you're probably not going to know what I'm talking about unless you went back and you watched the original Dragon Ball Z anime. And it doesn't matter which version you watched, whether it be the Spanish version, the English dub, or Japanese, it really doesn't matter. This was actually one of the more famous mistakes, I guess you can say, from Toei when it came to DBZ. And a lot of fans already knew about this, but I'm sure some of you guys out there probably had no idea why. So if you go back to the first time we ever see Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z, he looks like this. As you can see from the picture, he has dark reddish brownish hair, and his armor is also very different. It's got orange and greenish kind of tint to it. And Nappa's armor also looked different, and he would retain this look for the first few times that we saw Vegeta, including the planet Arlia filler, and whenever we see shots of him inside of the Saiyan space pod, with of course Nappa next to him, that's how he looked. But when Vegeta and Nappa actually landed on Earth in Dragon Ball Z episode 22, he looked very, very different, and had his... Well, familiar, traditional Vegeta look with black hair and the silver, white, and yellow Saiyan armor. Now, I remember back then when we were all kids, we tried to figure out what the reason was. And the conclusion that many of us came to was that maybe they changed clothes at some point on their way to Earth. Maybe the two pods actually stopped by somewhere and Vegeta and Nappa, like, took a piss. And Because, I mean, come on, you're going to sleep for a whole year? I don't think so, right? They're not going to be asleep that long they had to have stopped somewhere to take a leak you know eat some food or something uh we just don't see it on screen and i was thinking maybe they changed their clothes but that doesn't explain why vegeta's hair is different well the real explanation for all this is kind of wacky as many of you know in japan manga is usually and well not usually but quite often in black and white and when toriyama was first drawing the characters of Vegeta and Nappa for them to be adapted into the anime he did not draw a full color Vegeta for the anime staff he didn't do it he just was writing the manga and was going along you know as the series progressed well legend has it that at some point either Toriyama saw a picture of Vegeta in the anime or he saw the anime itself and said wait a minute those colors are not correct. That is not how Vegeta is supposed to look. And he contacted Toei and he told Toei, hey, you screwed up. These aren't the right colors. And thus, by the time they got to episode 22, when Vegeta would appear on Earth, they fixed it by then to match with what Toriyama had originally envisioned Vegeta's colors to be. And thus, when they went back to do Dragon Ball Kai, Toei went ahead and fixed the colors for Vegeta. But the one thing they didn't do is fix the colors for Nappa. His armor still looks like it used to, and I have no flippin' idea as to why this is the case. It's one of those Kai anomalies that I have no explanation for, but at least now you know the actual reason as to why Vegeta's hair and armor look different at the beginning of Z. It was an animation flub. And I know a lot of you guys already knew this, especially you long, long, long time Dragon Ball fans. Like if you've been a fan for like 20 years, you probably knew this story. But if not, I still wanted to share it with you guys because I always thought it was kind of funny that Toei just assumed the colors without asking the creator what they actually were. But you have to remember, they were also in a rush back then to get this series done and they were worried about being too behind. And as you, you know by now, the production schedules in Japan were always a bit of a nightmare with a show that has no season breaks. And Dragon Ball Z had no season breaks in Japan. It ran straight through with no breaks except for a couple days here and there just like Super. So these guys had to get on their gear 
at all times. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like the video, please punch that like button. It means a lot to me. Spread the word about the video and about the Geekdom 101 channel. And if you'd like to subscribe and you'll get more videos like this, thank you as always. And if you enjoyed this video, check out some of these that I think you'll also like. Have a nice day.